Hello everybody, my name is Tubus Blunt and welcome back to my follow-up for Son of a Showcase series. And this time we are here at Dalton Farm, which I made my player home because if you completed the uh, quest for Cassie Dalton uh, to like... I don't know really how to phrase it, but um... To... not really... not revive her family, but like... to memorialize, I guess, or just leave no stone unturned. Um, for her family so you do all these quests for her um, and then she gives you the farm uh, there was a lot of broken down uh, buildings here that I could just tear down and I did so it's just a giant plot of land um, I just made up my player home there is one spawn point and I actually did encounter some enemies here when I started this spawn here to start this video um, they mostly are roughly here about if I could find the bodies that'd be a really good example ah here's one what do you have shotgun stim pack huh. I don't know why I'm bothering to go through the bodies, because I'm not going to be playing this file anymore. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah. I didn't take up a whole lot of land. I wanted to find, like, the most, like, level piece of land on the farm to use, so. So, as always, got my guard dog. Actually, ooh, she's struggling. I think it's a she. Trixie, yeah. Okay, so, um, I didn't, I didn't try to make a goal of it to get the junkyard dogs in either Far Harbor or, um, uh, Nuka World because I got them all in, well, from Creation Club and I got them all in the Commonwealth, but, um, I'm a big fan of Huskies, so I brought the Husky from Creation Club. Okay, she's really starting to bug me. I brought the husky from Creation Club into my player home here in Far Harbor. Okay, what? Okay, she's still going to struggle, so... And even then, like, she didn't even go attack the raiders. They were coming, trappers, whatever. So as we come in through the front door, we got my decontamination arc, as always. And right when you walk in, I've got the two suits of Vim Power Armor that can be found in Far Harbor. You can find the red Vim suit in the Vim factory. And then I didn't know that there was a second one, the Vim Refresh. It is actually like on a truck bed. I think somewhere in here, there's a truck bed along a road. I think the road here, there's like a truck bed. And it's unlocked and everything. Or maybe there is some sort of like advanced lock or something. Um, and it's just there waiting for the taking. I did see a video at one point that there may have been a third suit added. And the reason for that is because... Oh boy, if I got it, cor if I'm thinking correctly... Or no. No, 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 no. Okay. Here at um, Brookshead Lighthouse, there is... Well, it's also part of Cassie Dalton, her miscellaneous quest to leave no stone unturned with her family. Uh, you come here to kill a trapper leader who killed her husband, I believe? Um... And in one of the sheds at the lighthouse, you can find a power armor frame so there might be there could have possibly been a third suit of Vim power armor but either, either probably either got scrapped or maybe it was never there at all and it's just a empty frame but uh in any, in any event we still got two Vim power suits out of the deal so and then we got my dining table and I did add a bunch of rugs from creation club 
Yep, so then here's my kitchen. Do we even have anything? Oh, I have two Vims in here. <laughs> a Vim Quartz and a regular Vim. Uh, no, wait, I have a Captain's Blend. It must be in home plate. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, then I got my cooking stove. I got my... Whoa, Piper, what are you doing? Th there's no chair there. Piper, chairs are over here. Okay. Um, get the milk. Uh, get the milk machine here, an ice machine. And not Nuka Cola, but a Vim machine. Um, I've, I know I've struggled with, like, the Vim and Nuka Cola machines in the past, but I didn't realize how much of a pain in the ass they are. Because. <clears throat> They don't like to go flat against the wall for some reason or another, like right here. But then if you turn it this way, it will go. But like you can't make it go flat against the wall. I don't know if that's just for console or if that's for like, like in every platform. It's really obnoxious to me. It's super annoying that it that happens, but. Whatever. Um, Piper, stop leaving the door open. Alright, then we'll move upstairs. And it's kind of really empty. I think I, I would have put like some wall decorations, but then I think they clip into the wall. Let's uh, take an example. Uh, let's take the arcade for example. Okay. Never mind, they don't clip. There's some stuff that will clip. Like into the individual pieces. Okay then. Piper, why? Whatever. Uh, and here I've got my magazine rack that has all of the issues of the Islanders Almanac. And I added these uh, glass windows from uh, fully repair glass from the uh, the warehouse tile set from Wasteland Workshop. And I just added a chair. So in case if I wanted to read the Islanders Almanac, I could just look out into the foggy water. <laughs> Not particularly on this morning, but, uh, you know, just, just to enjoy the view. And I've got the full suit and the marine ca uh, marine armor. And I picked a Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, I don't know what they call it. Well, it's a uniform, jumpsuit, whatever. Uh, to go underneath it, because it's obviously color matching. Uh, they got, got the captain's hat for completing the captain's dance. And Legend of the Harbor from the Mariner, I believe. Yeah, when you try to do the, uh, the red... I can't think of what it's called. Not the Red Death or Red Scare. I don't know. And then I got the uh, Marine Wetsuit. And then the Rescue Diver Suit. So I got them all on display here. Then if we turn around, I got the, the Striker Legendary Weapon, which is more or less a Fat Man, but only adapted to shoot... Um, To shoot bowling balls, and you get get that at uh, Beaver Creek Lanes. And that actually, this weapon in itself has some very interesting lore with it, and it's really nice. But um, I'm not going to cover it. <laughs> um, again, I just like to memorialize whatever I used in whatever part DLC in the game. So I used. Um, the classic 10 millimeter, classic 10 millimeter pistol from the Tunnel Snakes Rule Adventure in the Creation Club. Um, I use this legendary energy weapon that does it does some burn damage, but then it also does 25. It does plus 25 uh, bleeding damage, and I first encountered this weapon. Well, it was being used against me. I don't remember what situation it was. I think it might have been at 
Dunwich Boars for all I remember. Um, because that place gives me PTSD like you wouldn't believe. Um, or I was against like some uh, raider and they had this legendary weapon and I was in a full suit of power armor and I'm just like, what is going on? And it just like completely destroyed me even though I was in full suit of power armor. So I'm thinking, okay, if I get this, I am totally keeping it and using it against enemies because like if I'm in a full suit of power armor, I can't imagine what that will do to like anybody else. And it did serve me very well here in Far Harbor. And then the uh, 45 to 70 caliber rifle. Um, I can't remember what is. Oh, I think it does 25% more. Oh, 50% more damage against uh, humans and. Or just 50% more damage against humans. And I figured because. Well, I mean, majority of the enemies here are humans, but there's also like since if you go to destroy Arcadia but then there's also wire lurks and all that other fun stuff but um I just brought it because the majority of the I think this would be, probably be better if it was used in Nuka World but I just used it here and then my uh, armor that I used here excuse me um I wanted to I think I'd normally just do like full trapper but then like I just picked like I just picked up whatever had better stats um so yeah it's a mix of heavy metal some trapper um and I I love the lobster helmet <laughs> the first time I saw this helmet I just like died because I love it it's so funny um it's, it seems like it's so impractical. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit of a helmet because it is a cage, but it's wood, so it can't really protect you from much. And how in the hell can you even see out of that? I mean, like, look at all the wood that's in there. How can you see in that? Um, so I left that there. And then I just grabbed um, modifying bowling balls for the striker. Um, Hunter's Hood, Harpoon ammo, green hoods, and then some of the Zealot marine armor pieces from uh, destroying uh, the Children of Adam. And I put more rugs down in here, and I have a fast travel target, as well as a uh, bed. As you might have just seen from uh, the Park Visitor Center. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's really necessary to do a night tour, because... It's just a player home. It's nothing extravagant. So, I think I'll just end this here. So, that is it for the Dalton Farm Settlement in Far Harbor, which I made my player home because you are granted to it by Cassie. I mean, yeah, you can be granted, I guess, to like every settlement, but she personally gives it to you rather than, oh, I cleared it out, and here, here I go. So... She personally gives it to the soul survivor and just made use of it as a player home. So that's it for this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on it. If you want to stay in tune with the rest of this series, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.